I have never had to give a single naya paisa of bribe to any politician, any government ever. Satyam ka jo scandal hua, us mein humare dean Satyam ki audit committee ke chairman the, ab uske wajah se unko resign karna pada. Rajat Gupta ka jo incident tha, wo ek bada challenge tha. SB is in Hyderabad because of Chandra Babu Naidu. No saal maine unke saath kaam kiya hai and I have seen the intensity with which he took Hyderabad from nothing to what it is today. India mein aur yehi sab cheeze hain humare yahan ke hum students ko students ki tarah treat nahi karte hum unko ek commodity jaisa treat karte hain like we are doing them a favor aur apne ko bahut faculty ko bahut bada mante hain. Placement ki importance to rahegi. I think jo galti hum kar rahe hain wo ye kar rahe hain. The mistake we are making is that we are saying ki ye padhoge to ye outcome. Ye kisne bataya? ये गलत है सपोज करो कि किया था सपोज कर लो कि किया था तो इसका सेंटिमेंटल और ना सेंटिमेंटल होने से क्या मतलब होता है मेरी जो रिलेशनशिप है उसके साथ वो मैटर करता है ना आप क्या सोचते हो उसके बारे में वो मुझे नहीं मैटर करता मैं जानता हूं क्या रियलिटी है ही इज फाउंडर ऑफ हड़प्पा एजुकेशन फाउंडर अशोका यूनिवर्सिटी ही बिल्ट गार्ड रेल्स एंड द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फॉर द मॉडर्न बिजनेस एजुकेशन इन इंडिया today even i am compete with isb and he has raised the bar for the entire indian education welcome pramath rasena pramath sir so glad to have you on the podcast it's so nice to be here and it's a big privilege kyunki so many people have told me about your podcast thank you so it's a, it's a real honor to be here so thank you sir i'm really proud that we could host you uh, on privilege the- is entirely mine siddharth so, uh, before we dive into uh, some of the journeys on education some aspects of education and uh, indian education in general right how we have evolved over the last 70 years and particularly over the last 25 years and you have played an act very active role in the last 25 years in shaping up the modern indian business education so uh, i want to go into your childhood right uh, those memories of your childhood that made what you are today and made you inclined on you know pursuing the best part of your later half of your career in education i think the first thing i should talk about is the education that i got outside the formal education yes. and i think there were two or three elements that i would like to highlight uh, number one is that i come from a family of writers uh, a legacy of writing in hindi so my father my grandfather my great grandfather and his father were all writers of hindi and braj bhasha and so even my father when i was growing up he was still around my grandfather died early i i lived around lots of writers literary figures i used to be taken to lots of goshties and book launches by my father what is a goshti a goshti is just a seminar or okay. discussion you know a, a group of writers gather Haan. together to so, seminar keh lo so of course as a young boy i did not appreciate yeah. uh, it as much uh, some of it was very boring how old were you when you went to your first goshti i don't remember but uh, must be well before teenage uh, my father was a bit of a nervous type so he would always take me along because he wanted somebody there with him uh, so he would take me along after school i remember in the afternoon he would often say that lunch kha lo thoda rest kar lo phir sham ko jana hai it was been 5 6 years of age you were that you started ha 6 5 6 7 8 years yeah. sick i was doing that yeah. we also had a printing press yeah. and in that printing press in those days my father used to print uh, uh, school textbooks okay. uh, there were books in simple books uh, there was one i remember called east and west yeah. uh, short stories and so on the point being that i grew up around a very scholarly literary atmosphere uh, which i got to appreciate later and it does connect to what i do now so yeah. that was one connection that go back i go back to Uh, the other uh, is that uh, i don't know if he did it by intention my father used to give me lots of errands 
He used to make me do yeah. lots of things. So I mentioned these textbooks that were printed and published yeah. by my uh, father's firm. Uh, in the winter time, around this time, we would go through the villages in Bihar, around Patna, in an ambassador car, loaded with books and diaries and calendars. And we would distribute it to the school teachers and school principals, encouraging them to buy the books this for their children. 1972 and 70s. 70s, 70s. Okay. Now, for me, it was like an adventure. It was fun. Ghumre, Subesh Sham, going to places. But now when I look back, it was pure and simple door-to-door -door marketing. You know, it was market activation. Uh, yet I never thought of myself as a business guy. He would make me buy paper, uh, ink. Uh, he would make me do catch people to do maintenance uh, in the printing press. Uh, I would be exposed to some of the problems he would face, the ups and downs of the business. Uh, we actually had a physical shop where we would sell the books. So okay. every night we would go there and in the cash box, he would actually take out, count the money yeah. and make a register. He would send me to banks, post offices. He would send me to buy railway tickets, train tickets, uh, plane tickets to receive people, see off people. Uh, my sisters got married. Their arrangements for there. So uh, again, I'm making a point here that I, I learned a lot by doing. And, and that's something that has always stayed with me. That while you... While education makes you learn to do later, I think I benefited a lot from doing, uh, which helped me learn how to do later, right? So that was the other aspect of my childhood. And the last thing I will say is that there was a lot of focus on education in the family. I had three older sisters and uh, uh, initially there was a big focus on getting them married yeah. off. But there was an incident uh, reg with regard to my oldest sister, which I've talked about. Yeah. She's written a book about yeah. it. Madam Sir. Madam Sir. Uh, so in, in that case, what happened was the emphasis shifted a lot on making the girls independent, yeah. uh, economically independent, which also had impact on me because they all went on to do big things in their lives. And that was inspiring for me. So they were a source of inspiration. So I would say that my younger uh, days were laced with these types of things which have really influenced me later in life but subconsciously there was always the desire to educate others in you when you, even when you were growing no honestly i never thought about that to be honest uh, however now when i look back my parents were very involved in doing things for others uh, so my father was the secretary of the harijan sevak sangh uh, and the Harijan Sevak Sangh used to run Balwadis. Yeah. Uh, one Balwadi used to actually run next to our home uh, in a garage yeah. uh, for the local children. So I remember being part of all of that. I didn't realize what we were doing. I was too young to appreciate, one, the need for it uh, and the fact that we were imparting education. Uh, my mother was uh, involved in many women's organizations, the all India Women's Conference, the Bihar Council of Women. So she would be constantly fundraising, organizing things, uh, going to villages, uh, selling uh, items knitted by the women in the villages or helping them get loans to uh, get a cow that would help. You know, this, I guess this is before the help, the days of self-help groups and so on. So these women's organizations was very ac were very active. My father was very active. Uh, we were very active in the village that we come from. Uh, even though we were living in the city, we were very closely connected with uh, rural Bihar. So there was a lot of, uh, if you would want to call it, social work going on in the family, which I think may have informed my desire to then later in life give back. Uh, and I think, again, that inspiration did come from my parents. Uh, when you and Rajat were initially thinking of setting up, ISB inside IIT Delhi, uh, there's a story that, you know, there were so many constraints that it couldn't have been set up inside IIT Delhi. You have to shift it to an independent, uh, autonomous uh, university, yeah. right? So, so how did uh, Chandra Babu Naidu came to know about it? Because it, it was a private affair, right? Yeah, yeah. So, usme, there's a little bit of cheating going on. Yeah. <laughs> so, what was happening was that I was at McKinsey at that time. 
and I had worked on this project in Malaysia, which was on the economic development of yeah. Malaysia. So Chandrababu Naidu had visited Malaysia and heard from Mahathir that McKinsey had worked on creating a vision 2020 for Malaysia. Okay. So when he came back, he tried to get in touch with McKinsey. And so to cut a long story short, now I was with McKinsey here in India working on the Andhra Pradesh Vision 2020. Now, even though we were working with the state and we were doing a lot to attract investment into the state, uh, honestly, in the early days of that, uh, in parallel, I was working on ISB. Yeah. Honestly, in those early days, the idea of having ISB go to Hyderabad never came up because even after we moved out of IIT Delhi or cut the, yeah. I uh, decided to move on from IIT Delhi and set it up independently. Most of our board members, and you know all the, like we talked about industrialists, were from Bombay. So the obvious choice was to go to Bombay. And they said, Ki Bombay mein hum land lelenge, uh, regulatorily everywhere. You know, we are comfortable. We are all in Bombay. It, it would have been the easiest place to set up. Because, and commercial capital yeah. of the country, yeah. uh, logical choice. Yeah. Now, when we started to run into problems in Bombay, and you know the story, I don't want to repeat yeah. it here, but it's, you know, there were, they, uh, Bala Sahib Thakre asked for reservations and uh, very heavy reservations, 50% yeah. for faculty, 100% for staff, and I don't remember, for students. So then our strategy was to see if we could put pressure on Bombay to remove those concerns yeah. because after he made those pronouncements unfortunately he made it to the press okay then the bureaucrats start, started feeling like oh no we did not want it to go this way it was a situation that went a little bit out of hand so they started saying listen we'll just let's wait a little bit and in a few months and so on we'll try and correct this situation and remove some of these restrictions but informally and formally and we also thought ki let's up put some pressure on Bombay yeah. by showing ki bhai other people are yeah. also interested. But when this happened that news came out yeah. that this is happening and now ISB is looking for uh, other locations. Yeah. Then the McKinsey team that was working with Chandrababu Naidu which was also working with me they got we got into action and we made him write a letter to every board member individually saying listen if you want to uh, look for a good location there couldn't be a better place than Hyderabad and I'm happy to welcome you and so on so that's when we started engaging and then there is of course the whole story of how one day we flew from Bombay to Hyderabad to Bangalore to Chennai to find the place and of course the way he treated the board when we arrived there and uh, with so much respect and affection and grace that people were just bowled over. Uh, the land that he offered us was fantastic. Uh, you know where the campus is. In those days, there was nothing there but a, uh, but a barren piece of land with some rocks. Today, it's a thriving metropolis. It could be anywhere in the world. Yeah. Uh, so I think he was really visionary in that sense. In fact, I still remember that... Uh, he took everybody and made a presented and of course the presentation was done by the McKinsey team but yeah. the title was Hyderabad the knowledge capital of Asia okay and on the powerpoint he had Hyderabad with a star and there were links to Shanghai yeah. Singapore uh, London he wanted to make Hyderabad uh, Dubai that's right or Singapore exactly but just this conception that Hyderabad can be the hub, he he saw it, he he could see. Now, you could argue today that it has not quite become that. But equally, if you look at where it has gone from where it was, it's amazing. If, if you aim for stars, definitely you will reach the moon. <laughs> that's right. That's right. It's a great example of that. So, yeah, that's how it happened. But more than that, you know, he did not give up. Uh, once we uh, got the land, uh, I still remember there were three public interest litigations against the award of the land to ISP. And this was not free land. We had yeah. actually paid for it. But a lot of people got into the uh, court, went to court and said that this land was not legitimately acquired by the government and they had no right to sell it to 
ISB and that the price was not right and uh, this is not in public interest, this is a private project, all of that. He personally asked the Attorney General to take charge of these three public interest litigations. I remember he told me that you have to come here and work closely with this gentleman uh, to uh, fight these cases. Then just every amount of support. We had problems with water, drinking water. Uh, the last stretch of, land, uh, uh, of road that had to be built, uh, I mean, it was unprecedented. He basically told me in the end that, listen, my guys won't be able to get the road done in time. You please build it and you tell me how much it is. I'll yeah. find a way to pay you. That's what he, we did. Uh, the electricity, they had, they had to build a substation and towers to carry power, to wheel the power to the campus. That was delayed. Again, he stepped in. So every step of the way. And he started to talk about ISB wherever he went. So he became our biggest evangelist. Uh, so, wow, I mean, I, I, mean I, 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 I really think we owe uh, to him to have and then you know he got uh, Rangarajan to inaugurate the camp the lay the foundation stone uh, he got uh, Prime Minister Vajpayee to come for the inauguration yeah. uh, he got uh, uh, President uh, uh, Kalam to come for our first convocation so he took a lot of personal interest they got chief ministers both hote chalo bhai land ho gaya tumhara jao kaam karo Right. I have so many other things to work on. Yeah, he had a lot of things to do. But personal interest, Lele ke, her step of the me, aapko kya chahiye, kaise chahiye. Now, there was an advantage that I was also working with him on the side. So I could ask and I had access to him. But I don't think that that was such, something such so special. I think even if I was not working with him as a McKinsey consultant, he would have supported us. Because I could see that he was doing that with many other people. Uh, I also saw how uh, Microsoft when they came. Yeah. Uh, so again, he was, I don't know if you remember the story that he flew to uh, Delhi. In fact, we were again at McKinsey involved in yeah. making sure that he got, he went and met the uh, Bill Gates at the US ambassador's home uh, and said that you come. Then Gates came, there was this big announcement and finally Microsoft put their research center in Hyderabad and it's a massive research center. I don't know if you know, it's probably the largest outside of Seattle. Uh, so when they were coming in, they wanted to be next to ISB. Now you see how the multiplier effect starts. In fact, they wanted a little bit of extra land. And Mr. Naidu personally called me and he said, can you give us five acres of the land that we have yeah. sold you? I will, uske evas mein, I will give you land on the other side. Yeah. Right. And of course, I couldn't say no to yeah. him, even though this is prime frontage land. Uh, but, you know, we talked to the board, board understood and, you know, Microsoft is a, uh, is right there with us. And then the whole area just uh, exploded. So I think uh, exemplary leadership as far as I'm concerned uh, in terms of uh, uh, really building the state, the city and, and contributing to its, uh, to its economic growth and creating a fantastic legacy. And this is a very interesting story, right? Because of how public, though to create a private university, how a leader of a government came and just made sure everything happened, right, from totally. start to the finish line. Totally. And was it the same case, how you set up the ISB Mohali or the Ashoka University campus? Yes, I have to tell you that these are all, uh, I'm a big believer that when, that there are some, like in everything, there are some great leaders in government. Yeah. And uh, they know exactly how to help build things. They are, they are visionary, uh, they are builders, uh, and they go all out to support you. In any of these projects, I have never had to give a single naya paisa of bribe to any politician, any government ever. Okay. And for everything that people say about regulation or policy, there are kit pit here and there, aise nahi waise, you have to do. But nobody has ever troubled you if you want to do the right thing. That is, like you were saying, ki your belief is that yeah. in business, mein, uh, you cannot you know, die. You can't be killed. 
right i also believe that if you are doing a good thing and if your intent is very clear yeah. ki bhaiya main logon ko educate kar raha hu i am trying to help people achieve their yeah. full potential koi rok nahi sakta aapko theek hai and so i think that's that's what i feel like the universe has helped me uh, and helped all my teams in and all our co-founders in these so yes uh, i if you if you uh, because i believe right just after the success of isb hyderabad there were a ton of contenders for you to put up the next IFB yeah contest. yeah everybody so, even today dubai wants us to put up uh, 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 isb and an ashoka yeah. in dubai i have been personally approached uh, 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 kriya university founders wanted us to yeah. build ashoka university there so absolutely uh, but if you look at um, so how did Mo- mohali happen so mohali happened partly because of uh, prime minister manmohan singh yeah uh, at that time uh, punjab uh, and uh, and mohali was obviously getting developed and they have uh, developed a a a a, a sector uh, chandigarh is very sector you know nicely uh, laid out with these rectangular plots of sectors so they had designated one sector as a knowledge sector तो उसमें दे हैड बीन अप्रोचिंग आई आई एम्स अब ये बैक स्टोरी है मुझे आई कैन नॉट वाउच फॉर द स्टोरी एंड आई मे इफ आई एम गिविंग समथिंग रॉन्ग आई इट्स माय मिस्टेक बट व्हाट वी वर टोल्ड वाज दैट द बैक स्टोरी वाज दैट द द द गवर्नमेंट हैड बीन ट्राइंग टू अप्रोच आई आई एम्स कि आप यहाँ पे एक आई एम खोलो तो दे वर नॉट गेटिंग एनी पॉजिटिव रिएक्शन सो सम ऑफ आवर बोर्ड मेम्बर्स Uh, like uh, sunil munjal of yeah. hero and uh, sunil and rakesh mittal of atel analjit singh of max atul punj of punj lloyd some of these people were became aware ke mohali mein aisa ho raha hai so they went to the pm and they said ki aap hame chance dijiye give us a chance to build this you know how things happen in government the, that area was designated as a knowledge area knowledge park and within knowledge park premium management institute premium technology institute premium science so icer they got icer chandigarh is there right this manage yeah, your pmi tha premium management yeah. i still remember they were looking for a pmi okay. so they were trying to get a iim to do a pmi yeah. when when that didn't work out four three four of our board members basically went and said ki bhai aap if you really want it give us a chance we will take it take that project fund it and build it and we'll build a isb so that is how isb happened in mohali and of course there the arrangement was different there we have a 99 year lease for the land uh, but yes uh, we 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 replicated the model there one thing to point out since you are talking about education is one of the things that we have done very uniquely there uh, which lot of people don't realize is that we made sure that from day one mohali was not seen as a b grade to okay. hyderabad is hyderabad's a grade yeah aisa na ho ki packing order ho jaye ki nahi bhaiya pehle ahmedabad phir bangalore yeah. phir calcutta phir indore phir lucknow to wo humne one institution two locations yeah. ka bahut clear rakha hai there is only one dean madan pilutla heads both institutions placement ek hota hai admissions ek hota hai everything is one it's just two camp two locations so i think that's how mohali happened and mohali has done really well we have a beautiful campus there now we are expanding ashoka incident incidentally uh, is the first time we decided to i got involved in building a university uh, which is a full fledged university uh, and needed lots of regulatory approvals right and we had very systematically identified that haryana state Uh, had the best private university act at that time when we went went to mr huda uh, he was very supportive uh, jindal had already been in talks and had been sort of approved not they know they had not been approved but they had already initiated uh, but what i still remember is that mr huda would keep saying ki isb ke quality ka banana unke dimag mein to your point wo isb ki baat baith gayi thi ki wo and then he knew ki isb has come in mohali yeah. so he wanted to do something for haryana but one thing i will tell you in all these places 
across political lines different chief ministers and different governments have supported us and that's very good to see in india kisi ne ne rajshekhar reddy when he became chief minister of uh, andhra pradesh after uh, uh, chandra babu naidu did not say are ye naidu ne banwaya mujhe isse kuch nahi le he was he has been equally supportive so the current government uh, the trs government that was there equally supportive so i think the one thing about all these regimes all these political parties all these chief ministers that has really amazed me is that they've not made the educational institution a political pawn that oh this was built during this person's time so i will not support you or i'll bad mouth you or i'll trouble you we they've all been supportive and so we've kept growing so even with uh, mr khattar in haryana yeah. he's been amazingly supportive uh, he's one of my favorite uh, supporters for the for the university we run the a uh, chief ministers good governance associate program uh, in haryana now for 7 years and uh, it's run by ashoka university we train 25 young men and women who go and work in the districts on priority programs for the government report back to the chief minister every quarter every 6 months and that program has been one of the most successful such programs in the country and uh, what is commendable is nobody has ever asked to name it after a state person for example i am a graduate of triple it gwalior indian institute of information technology gwalior so, uh, so somebody named it after atal bihari vajpayee so it's abv triple it <laughs> gwalior but abhi tak nahi aur isiliye humne ashoka naam de diya ke you know uh, and and similarly yeah so so far yeah but but it's amazing right the first 50 years of the setting up of the education infrastructure of india was done by the government let the, the pandit jawala nehru set up the iits i think then he also laid the foundation for the first two iims and in the last 25 years this has been driven by uh, folks like you right who are just raising the stand, standards of the education uh, what i'm also surprised is you have given isb has given a run to iims for their money right now the best candidates are choosing which which to choose right but but it has not happened for the iits yet yeah laksha is an experiment in that yes yes see most people have stayed away from engineering uh, or, or or have created engineering institutions but not of that quality bits pilani though has always existed so to give them credit uh, bits pilani was always uh, in the same league as the original five iits and i think still remains Uh, in that contention but yes i think beyond that there hasn't really been anything that you can say is a real contender uh, geo is probably going yeah. to try plaksha is trying uh, engineering mein and now iits have uh, grown in numbers so yeah. it's going to be difficult to compete with that so yeah you are right i think uh, there are, there have not been any new clear contenders I would also say that you know, in the case of ISB, we never saw ourselves as competing with IIMs, uh, and I'm not saying this just to be nice. I'm uh, I genuinely mean it. I think there is space for a very different segment of management education, and uh, yes, of course, we are in the same space. So I don't want to be cute about this. Also, we do compete in that sense, especially for faculty, uh, and we do compare. salaries and research and so on but really there is a there i think there's room for many many more institutions as you know and uh, many more high quality institutions are required if you think about it after isb nothing has gotten created in the private sector of the same quality uh, two years ago the bits pilani people have launched bitsom the bit school of management which i'm also associated with and i helped create uh but other than that you know i think the others have tried to catch up but have there's always been a distance right now you have you have studied in us universities right you did your phd and you did your undergrad from indian university right the, both the best of them right uh, do you think uh necessarily the us way of teaching works will work here in india of course it will work and there is no us way of teaching as such i mean yes 
the us way of teaching is what we are trying to do at ashoka for example right and the, and by the way this is now called the us way of teaching not being jingoistic but yeah. this was the takshila yeah. way of teaching or the nalanda yeah. way of teaching the idea is very simple college mein aap spoon feed mat kar yeah. 18 saal ke bacche ko you have to let them discover themselves yeah. yaar you can't tell them ki nahi tum aise hi ho sakte ho ये कोर्स है और चार साल में ये चौबीस सब्जेक्ट पढ़ोगे फिलोसोफर एंड यू नो यू गो एंड बिकम अ फिलोसफी मेजर एंड यू से तो मुझे कुछ समझ ही नहीं आ रहा है इनफैक्ट आई नेवर न्यू की ये बायो साइंस भी कुछ होता है or that even though i did not study math i am actually a great coder so i think the education system in the us all it does is it gives you the flexibility to choose that's the crux of it on top of that it says ki bhaiya learn to read and write and think that is the core of existence in your life now reading today may become listening to siddharth's podcast or it may become watching a documentary yeah. on netflix that's fine it's the same thing right so how do you absorb information how do you process that information and how then do you put that information out yeah. you could have been a print blogger you could have been a a, a, a professor yeah. or you've chosen to be a podcaster yeah. okay so how you do it is a different thing there are multiple modes available now so what the us education really does what we are calling us education really does is focuses on this this thing about reading writing reasoning okay the thing about multidisciplinarity that the specialization is not important the range is important not that you should not specialize you should specialize you should learn how to specialize but that doesn't mean that that is what you will be for the rest of your life so learn other subjects also keep yourself curious educated can't learn everything but at least keep yourself don't don't box yourself and it puts that choice on to you you are responsible for your own outcomes absolutely my guarantee is that whatever you choose from my buffet will be good quality i'll serve you genuine a good course on that subject now it you decide whether you want it or not it feeds you or not and it is not also that it is completely anarchic there are some guidelines there are some rules that yes you must specialize in something but you can specialize in something very interdisciplinary you can create your own major mera manna hai if you ask me if i ever have the resources the next university i will build is that you create your own major here are some guidelines to to be counted to have a specialization you should have done 50% of courses out of the courses that you have done in 4 years which is what the ugc and others in the nep are saying which is a good idea but you choose whatever 50% no you decide define that 50% now these are the tenets of what is so called happening in liberal arts education there is no reason it cannot happen in a law school medical school architecture school design school pharma school engineering school management school liberal arts school in this country i think other thing that got unique about the indian education was everything became outcome oriented so because initially we didn't have corporates right to scout for a student so we started inviting them for student placement at day 0 this is very an in indian innovation i would say right it doesn't happen in anywhere in the world right and and now ev- everything for the student became how do i prepare for that end outcome so that i get day zero placed dekho placement ki importance to rahegi kyunki jis background se hum aate hain hamare parents hamari families chahte hain ki main naukri mil jaye financial security economic security my father used to tell me ki 10000 ki naukri tumhe karni hai आई थिंक जो गलती हम कर रहे हैं वो ये कर रहे हैं द मिस्टेक वी आर मेकिंग इज दैट वी आर से ये पढ़ोगे तो ये आउटकम ये किसने बताया ये गलत है ये आउटकम के लिए ये पढ़ना है या ये पढ़ के यही आउटकम मिलता है जो फिक्सेशन हो गया है दैट इज वेयर वी आर मेकिंग 
I think there is not a course called problem solving that gets teach taught. Correct. And you you did problem solving at McKinsey. Every yes. professional at any capacity is just just good problem solver. And that is what we teach at Harappa. तो हरप्पा में जो हमने पांच स्किल yeah. से शुरू की हैं और जो हमारा फाउंडेशन है हमारे जो पांच yeah. पिलर हैं वो है कि सोचते कैसे हैं प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कैसे करते हैं थिंकिंग सॉल्विंग कम्युनिकेटिंग कोलैबोरेटिंग एंड लीडिंग योरसेल्फ तो ये पांच चीजें हैं विच आर यू नो दीज आर फाउंडेशनल स्किल्स इसीलिए हमने नाम रखा है हरप्पा कि आप हरप्पा के सिविलाइजेशन में yeah. चले जाओ तो वहां भी लोग यही करते थे अगर हम केवल इस पे फोकस करें और केवल हम अपने बच्चों को और यंगस्टर्स को एम्प्लॉज को इसकी अप्रिसिएशन दे दे तो बहुत कुछ सॉल्व हो सकता है चार्ली मुंगर हैज बीन माई लाइक अ गुरु एडलाइज लाइक द्रोणाचार्य राइटिंग फार अवे सो सो वट ही ऑलवेज सेज पीपल आर ट्रेन टू टू सॉल्व लाइक पुट अ हैमर टू एवरी नेल दैट दे गेट एग्जैक्टली राइट आई थिंक द बेस्ट थिंग दैट वी कैन डू in education is give the widest variety of tools absolutely so absolutely. i can choose and on my training that which does it require hammer does it require a saw does what type of nail first yeah. agar yeah. aap nail aur hammer ka analogy karo yeah. bahut achhi analogy hai hum bolte hain ki nahi yahi yahi ek nail hai aur yahi ek hammer hai agar tumhe ye do cheezon ko join karna hai to ye nail lo aur ye hammer lo and if you use that analogy all you have to do in higher edu- in k12 education what you have to expl- explain to people is ki do cheezon ko join karne ke liye ek nail ki zarurat hoti hai ek hammer ki zarurat hoti hai aur wo is reason se wo stick karta hai wo padhana zaruri hai because that is fundamental everybody needs to know that aur wo hame unko spoon feed karke padhana hai but once you come out of k12 then you have to say that listen i have two th- these two things i have to join them now whether you want to use a nail whether you want to use fevicol whether you want to weld it you decide you figure it out that's the crux of it and i think that that freedom and that confidence we are not giving our people that you can do it also you don't need to be trained in welding to know that this has to be welded If I taught you how to use a hammer and a nail, doesn't mean you cannot use adhesive glue. I think uh, also not giving large credit, but what I have seen is people when they go from India after the undergrad from the best of IITs, right, and they go to the US, their ability to figure out becomes so high on their own that the the level of confidence that they come back with is very high. The choice will happen. That is what happened to me. Yeah. When I went to UPN, so my academic confidence in myself was zero you told that the first semester you got 4.8 yeah to mujhe wahan pahuncha to mujhe lag wo to professors do maar peet ke pahuncha diye wahan pe ab jab wahan pe jab mujhe choice mil gaya to i did an introduction to computer vision introduction to robotics ye courses bade acche lage interesting lage aur chuki main interested tha i worked night and day and charon courses mein phir mujhe a mil gayi mujhe laga kare main suddenly intelligent kaise ban gaya and by the way because wo course itna inspirational tha aur uski jo teacher thi wo itni inspirational thi ki wo meri phd advisor ban gayi aaj tak main uske sath laga hua hu 90 years ki ho jayegi uska ho gayi hai uska main autobiography likhwa raha hu so i think that choice agar do logon ko acha kai log kai log mujhse bolte hain when i talk about this and i have written a book called learn don't study you may have seen usme the philosophy is this पीपल से अरे प्रमोद इज अ वेरी प्रिवलेज पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू कि अगर कोई बच्चा कहीं गरीब घर का किसी गांव में ग्रो कर रहा है तो उसके पास चॉइस कहाँ है मैं ये नहीं मानता ये हमारी सोच की लिमिटेशन है मैं देखता हूँ जो बच्चे अशोका में आते हैं जो स्कॉलरशिप्स के स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो जो छोटे जगहों से आते हैं गाँव से आते हैं नो बडी हैज स्टडीड इन दर फैमिली uh they have gone to a modest uh, local yeah. school they have studied in the vernacular medium everybody has dreams they too want a liberal arts yeah. education they may not know it is called liberal arts but they also want choice they also want to make movies yeah. they also want to do podcasts 
right and it is not about money uh, it is about providing them a good training and education which can be done in an inexpensive manner or through scholarships which they have earned so somehow we assume ki a choice keval unke liye केवल उनको चाहिए या उनके लिए अवेलेबल है या उनको मिलता है जो रिच और एलिट है आई थिंक एजुकेशन इज द बिगेस्ट डेमोक्रेटाइजर एंड वी शुड नॉट अज्यूम दैट दैट पर्सन डजेंट हैव द एम्बिशन एंड वी शुड नॉट अज्यूम दैट यू कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड देम दैट चॉइस यू कैन एब्सोल्युटली प्रोवाइड दैट एंड आई थिंक बिकॉज यू गॉट सो गुड एट द सब्जेक्ट दैट यू आर नॉट ट्रेन फॉर इन योर अंडर at mckinsey you were doing not computer vision you were not doing robotics yeah. and a lot of people and, and this is the i, I now go back us samay meri samajh nahi thi but kitne logon ne mera mazak udaya aur kai log mere peeth piche bolte the ki yaar ye 5 saal robotics karne ki kya zarurat thi time waste karaya ha aur uh, ab to uska koi use nahi hai मैं जानता हूं कि उसका क्या यूज है उसका यूज यू है ये है कि इट टॉट मी हाउ टू गेट डीप इन टू अ प्रॉब्लम इट टॉट मी हाउ टू थिंक इन अ वेरी डिलिब्रेट रिलेंटलेस विथ टेनासिटी इट टॉट मी हाउ टू डील विद प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज वेन यू डू फाइव ईयर का पीएचडी ना तो दे आर पॉइंट्स इन टाइम वेन यू वॉन्ट टू गिव अप राइट सल बिट लाइक बींग एन ऑन्टरप्रनोर एंड यू आर वेरी अलोन बिकॉज पी एच डी यू आर डूइंग ऑन यूर ओन टॉपिक बाई योर सेल्फ यू हैव एन एडवाइजर you can't blame anybody <laughs> you can't you fe- fe- feel up and down in motivation and you fought for to get that advisor <laughs> that is true <laughs> yes yeah so all these things start to train your mind and train you in fact yeah. main abhi bhi kisi ko bhi bolta hu when they come to me i said can i see a little bit of potential for scholarship yeah. academia i said boss have you thought about doing a phd yeah. and they say pramath me and it reminds me of me when i was their age yeah. you can't believe that you have the capability to do it right and phd doesn't mean being an academic it doesn't it's a way of doing something that you feel passionately about some people really love to be in an academic environment and they thrive now that doesn't mean that they are going to be an academic all their life but if they spend those 4 5 years in this very scholarly academic environment around people who have a similar their personalities change and they they flower and they bloom and they go on to do amazing things i consider rajat gupta hero right whatever happened was unfortunate uh, uh, and he gave so much back to the society at least in in the india thing like he was your mentor who he pulled you into the isb project he is still my mentor yeah yeah so uh, do people when they they take up let's say 50 things at 100 thing a scale and when people are not able to say no right this is my one of the learnings that when they are not able to say no then then which of the small things becomes large they are not able to to know ki yaar ye kya galat hua hai because he was involved in 50 things 50, many philanthropies uh, setting up of institutions dealing with governments right and and one no can corner तो ये रिस्क है जो हम सब लोग रन करते हैं और आई हैव सीन दैट हैपन टू रजत एंड आई एम सो सो यू नो ऑनर्ड एंड प्राउड टू हैव बी समबडी दैट यू आर वन ऑफ दोस पर्सन हु नेवर लेफ्ट हिज साइड यू वेंट टू विजिट हिम इन जेल्स व्हेन ही वाज नहीं थैंक यू फॉर सेइंग दैट एक्ट आई नेवर थॉट अबाउट इट दैट वे बट everybody left him and he said it publicly that that during that time yeah yeah yeah, yeah i don't know uh, i i just feel that i think he's a great yeah person and uh, i have seen him very up close and personal in the way he has interacted with me and with scores of other people i have seen very clear consistent behavior uh and i personally feel that what he has done for me and of course many others but that is for them to decide 
there is no way that I cannot be a well wisher, supporter, and and be by his side, yeah. whatever I can do. Yeah. Uh, not that I have done much. He and his family uh, and other people who are closer to him had to take the brunt of what yeah. happened. But uh, it is true that one of the values that it has taught me, it wasn't that I knew this or thought it through or, but now that it this whole thing has happened. One of the values that it has taught me is that you have to stand by the people who you care about. And for me, it becomes very clear that if your mother had done something, yeah. would you not have stood by her? Right. So how is this any different? Uh, so there are people who you are close to. There are people who may have done things for you. There are people who may have helped you. Uh, I think you have to decide how you want to be with those people. And you being at such a core at that juncture, right? Building ISB and starting so many new things. A lot of people would have told you, your friends or your other well why, why are you... Why are you studying all this? In fact, I, Rajat asked me if I was going to be a character witness in his case. I said yes. And I must tell you that my own family members told me, what are you doing? मेरे साथ एक इंसिडेंट भी हुआ था जिसके बारे में शायद मैंने बात नहीं की है बट जब मैं न्यूयॉर्क में था उनकी केस चल रही थी एंड आई हैड टू अपीयर एज अ विटनेस तो वन डे आई सडनली गॉट अ कॉल ऑन माय मोबाइल फोन सॉरी आई आई फर्स्ट गॉट अ कॉल आई आई वाज इन अ मीटिंग आई केम आउट सो लॉट्स ऑफ मैसेजेस फ्रॉम माय नीस my niece was with my sister at my sister's home in california yeah. where are you what are you doing yeah. you know i need to talk to you i need to talk to you i said are kya ho gaya yeah. in fact my mother who was in her 80s at that time was visiting to maine socha ki shayad some incident has happened yeah. with my mother so when i called her she said that you know we've been getting calls and this person says she's from the fbi yeah and uh, nani picked up the phone and she didn't know what was going on so she gave it to me and i took the call and this lady says she's from the fbi and she wants to talk to you and i don't believe that she could have been from the fbi yeah. why would the fbi want to talk yeah. to you i thought i think she's somebody who's posing but in any case she was asking yeah. about you and i wanted to let you know yeah the moment and she said it may i don't know what it could be i said listen i think it may have had to do with rajat's case because i'm here in new york because of that and she said oh wow even that makes sense but i hadn't put two and two together i just got spooked that somebody was calling and nani had picked up the phone and she was getting all worried ki ye kon hai tab tak mera phone baja maine phone uthaya and sure enough uh, there was a lady who introduced herself and said that and so and so and uh, i'm from the fbi yeah i'm calling you regarding this case and and then she asked me a bunch of very tough questions she was like why are you giving evidence yeah how do you know rajat what do you know about this case yeah. were you also involved with raj rajat yeah and it was like boss are they trying to pull me also yeah. into this or yeah. what matlab this line of questioning it and very yeah. intimate polite but you know tough so anyway without going into the details that conversation happened and i i was very disturbed i remember after i hung up i was shaking a little bit because you never heard got a call like that of course when i talked to rajat and then to his lawyers they said ki dekho this is standard tactics and you we didn't warn you because we didn't want you to be spooked uh, by this but this is what happens and in fact we were surprised that they didn't stop you at the border that you could have been actually asked not to enter the country so there were these moments and uh, uh, and you know even today a lot of people tell me that yaar pramath you are just a sentimental guy yaar kiya to tha usne are bhai tumhe kaise malum kisne kya kiya tha aur kiya bhi tha suppose karo ki kiya tha suppose kar lo ki kiya tha to iska sentimental aur na sentimental hone se kya matlab hota hai 
मेरी जो रिलेशनशिप है उसके साथ yeah. वो मैटर करता है ना आप क्या सोचते yeah. हो उसके बारे में वो मुझे नहीं मैटर yeah. करता मैं जानता हूँ क्या रियलिटी है तो आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द थिंग्स दैट आई हैव लर्न फ्रॉम दैट इंसिडेंट एंड आई गिव यू एन एग्जांपल ऑफ समथिंग दैट हैपन जस्ट टू डेज अगो विच रिमाइंडेड मी ऑफ दिस इंसिडेंट आई वॉज इन एट द बैंगलोर लिट फेस्ट एंड समी केम अप टू मी एंड यू नो यूजली लाइफ में ये सब चीजें रेयरली होती हैं और one is now old professional one so you get surprised and shocked i was with a young india fellow who is a alumnus and she had come to see me and we were chatting and then a gentleman walked in whom i know i know him very well we have a long association so i said hello good to see you and i keep seeing him all the time and would say aise hi mazak mazak mein nikal gaya ki bhai now that you are here there will be some fireworks because i know him and i know what he will say and so he suddenly started shouting at me and in front of everybody and people were like looking and saying you know this was the speaker's lounge and people were looking and and then of course he said something i couldn't even make out what he was saying he was he was, he was angry and uh, this girl who was with me uh, uh, was pramath what happened i uh, what, what just happened and and i was also a little i was feeling bad ki bhai aise kaise how come he behaved like this later on both he was signing books and a good friend of mine was also signing books right next so we met again and he looked at me and then he kind of was sheepish and he said listen I, i'm sorry i don't know what happened to me i think what you said just triggered off reaction yeah. i want to talk to you about that i mean he was still a bit defensive yeah. about it and i genuinely by then told him that listen it's okay it's fine uh, you needn't have yeah. gotten annoyed but i also know that a lot of times in the past this is a person who has helped me so much now today his views may have changed yeah. the environment may have yeah. changed he may have you know i have to let it go and at, i have to at least give him credit for the fact that when i needed it this person helped me he was there right so i genuinely said listen you don't need to think about it. just don't think about it forget it it's over let's move on and i'm not trying to say that i'm some great guy and i'm evolved hum log sab log gussa hote hain mujhe bura bhi lagta hai aaj bhi main uske bare mein sochta hu mujhe kharab lagta hai ki bhai iski koi zarurat nahi thi aur shayad main आगे चल के आई विल मेंटेन अ डिस्टेंस एंड आई विल बी अ लिटिल बिट मोर कि ठीक है यार ये इसको छोड़ दो बट आई डू थिंक दैट इट वॉज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर मी दैट फॉर समबडी हुआ डन सो मच एंड हुआ सच अ वेल विशर एंड हुआ डन सो मच फॉर अदर्स फॉर इंडिया एंड सो सेल्फलेसली आई हैव सीन इट आई मीन वॉट एवर आई ट्राई टू डू इज दिस पर्सन इज माई रोल मॉडल how can you not stand by such people you have to i mean that is somewhere you have to also like yourself na uh, when you do things uh, so i don't think i would like myself if i had not done what i did and i think isb wouldn't have started if not for the partnership of both of you though so many folks yeah. folks were involved no partnership chhod do without him it would not have started the sawal hi nahi uthta सवाल ही नहीं उठता वो विजन ही नहीं था यार और आज के दिन में लोग जब मुझसे कई बार ऐसे पॉडकास्ट में पूछते हैं कि मतलब हाउ डू यू थिंक यूनिवर्सिटी शुरू कर देंगे एक्चुअली इफ यू थिंक अबाउट इट एक वेदिका स्कॉलर्स प्रोग्राम शुरू करना या नरोपा फेलोशिप शुरू करना इज ऑल्सो अ बिग थिंग इफ यू एक्चुअली स्टेप बैक टू से हम एक प्रोग्राम शुरू कर देंगे लेह लद्दाख में वहाँ फैकल्टी आएगी वहाँ बच्चे आएंगे उनको एडमिट करेंगे उनको एक साल तक ट्रेनिंग देंगे फिर उनकी नौकरी लगाएंगे यू नो इट्स अ बिग टास्क एंड अगेन आई एम नॉट ट्राइंग टू शो कि मैं ग्रेट हूँ लेकिन द फैक्ट दैट यू कैन थिंक दिस वे इज समथिंग आई लर्न फ्रॉम हिम एंड इट हैपन बिकॉज ही आई एम श्योर ही वॉज नॉट बॉर्न विथ इट इधर बट ही लर्न दैट अलॉन्ग द वे एंड and got the confidence to do it himself and then passed that confidence on to me i still remember or ek iske bare mein maine wo shantanu wale mein bhi baat ki thi ki jab main partner nahi bana to unhone bola ki i didn't think you were ready to be a partner 
तो मुझे बहुत बुरा लगा था लेकिन वेन ही टोल्ड मी कि देखो वॉट इज द मार्क दैट यू आर मेकिंग तुम क्या कर रहे हो इन दिस इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज मेकिंग अ डिफरेंस दैट हैज स्टेड विथ मी एंड सच अ प्रोफाउंड थिंग टू से दैट changes everything because that gives you the confidence that yeah, i can also make my mark i can also push myself what can i do that is different distinctive so there's so much to learn from such people and uh, all of us have faults here i mean uh, i'm not perfect and i'm sure that there are things about me that could be taken out and completely seen to be inappropriate or not right uh, so yeah i think you will encounter i think these are all learning experiences also one should learn from the errors of judgment of omission commission that others have made and uh, but it is it is very sad <laughs> and w- one thing that inspires me from rajat and you is that you both love i think and it might have in- got ingrained as i observe your journey and rajat's journey in mckinsey that you both love human potential oh of course that's why you know so many institutes isb so totally. many other institutes got created what what and and i've said this in the book i wrote that i really believe that anyone can do anything i mean rasna we were talking yeah. about nancy your yes. co-founder yeah when I mean, you look at her journey yeah it's incredible it's against impossible odds absolutely who would have thought yeah who would have thought I'll, t- I'll tell you a funny incident right yeah. when uh, when we were both were not together uh, i came on a tv interview on when i was running the company and nancy was an intern in few days that i spoke about her journey at at a tv interview and then nancy's family said mujhe se dekh ke lag raha hai kuch chal raha hai so there was nothing like that <laughs> why why is you see you speaking about other ah agar koi स्पिरिचुअली uh, इंक्लाइंड हो वो बोलेगा कि बहुत जन्मों से चल रहा है बट नो टू दट टू बैक टू दैट पॉइंट सी इट सीम्स लाइक अ क्यूट थिंग टू से बट इट इज इंट नंसी के नॉट डू एवरी थिंग आई कांट डू एवरी थिंग नॉर कैन यू डू एवरी थिंग कुछ भी कर लेंगे अब मैं कितना भी चाहूं कि मैं विराट कोहली की तरह क्रिकेट खेलू मैं नहीं कर सकता या अमिताभ बच्चन की तरह एक्टिंग करूं नहीं कर सकता ठीक है येट बहुत कुछ कर सकता हूं तुम कर सकते हो नैन्सी कर सकती है और लोग कर सकते हैं उसको किस तरह से इनेबल करना मजा उसमें आता है और मैं स्टूडेंट्स को देखता हूं अलमनाए को देखता हूं और देखता हूं कहां थे और कहां पहुंच गए और वही हमारे साथ भी हुई है लेकिन द पावर टू बी एबल टू डू दैट विद मेनी मोर पीपल इज वॉट किट्स यू गोइंग So at per, at's personally let's say you were a partner at McKinsey and you would have taken 20 people under your mentorship outside that would have been you know that I love unlocking human potential right but for doing that at a scale at so didn't think you would have realized it ki no, so much skill would be unlocked ek ek aur main chhota sa kissa bata dun if you don't yeah. mind i know sure, time sure, kam hai uh, so one of my big inspirations in life was a gentleman called professor sumantra ghoshal तो सुमंत्रा वॉज अ मैनेजमेंट एकेडमिक बंगाली वॉज वर्क एट ओ एन जी सी वो ही वेंट टू यू एस टू डू अ पी एच डी और हार्वर्ड में पी एच डी करके एम आई टी में पढ़ाते थे या एम आई टी में पी एच डी करके समहा माई माइंड बट हार्वर्ड एम आई टी से ही वॉज एसोसिएटेड एंड देन ही वॉज इन सी आर्ड एज अ प्रोफेसर एंड देन लंडन बिजनेस स्कूल वहाँ से हमने उनको आई एस बी के लिए हायर किया था ही वॉज गोइंग टू बी द फाउंडिंग डीन एक्चुअली फाउंडिंग डीन मैन नहीं था सुमंत्रा होने वाले थे तो सुमंत्रा के साथ बहुत बात होती थी एंड सुमंत्रा डाइड रिलेटिवली यंग ही वॉज फिफ्टी फाइव ईयर्स एंड ओल्ड एंड ही पास अवे एंड ही इज रिटन सम ग्रेट बुक्स एंड पेपर्स एंड वॉज अ वेरी करिजमेटिक पर्सन आई वुड थिंक दैट इफ यू वुड हैव बीन अ लाइफ टूडे ही वुड हैव बीन वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट मैनेजमेंट एकेडमिक्स एवर दैट वॉज हिज ब्रिलियंस तो मुझे अभी भी याद है कि हम लोग आईएसबी में बैठे हुए थे और आई वाज ऑन माय फर्स्ट ईयर आई वाज ऑन अ सबैटिकल फ्रॉम फ्रॉम मकिनजी एंड आइडिया वाज दैट आई वुड गो बैक टू मकिनजी एंड सुमंत्रा इवन दो ही हैड डिसाइडेड नॉट टू डू द डीन रोल बिकॉज ही फेल्ट कि ये मुझसे नहीं होगा 
लेकिन मैं ही वॉज वेरी कमिटेड तो वो पढ़ाने आते थे एंड ही वॉज फॉन्ड ऑफ हिज ड्रिंक एंड हिज सिगरेट्स तो हम लोग रात को बहुत बैठ के बात करते थे शाम को वहाँ कुछ करने को नहीं था तो आई स्टिल रिमेम्बर ही कि यार तुम वाई आई वेन लिखित सी यू आर कॉट अप इन दीज ओल्ड मिडिल क्लास बिहारी वैल्यूज यू नो वॉट प्रमत आई एम अ मिडिल क्लास बेंगोली बॉय एंड यू आइडियलाइज आइडलाइज रजत ही इज ऑल्सो अ मिडिल क्लास बेंगोली बॉय ये जो हम लोग मिडिल क्लास बेंगोली हैं हम लोग बहुत फैट एंड हैप्पी हैं कि सब कुछ ठीक ठाक है नौकरी है तनख्वाह मिल रही है तुम क्यों कर रहे हो अब डोंट डू दिस राइट ही एंड ही यू थिंक रजत के बारे में यू नो यू होल्ड इन ऑन सच अ हाई पेडेस्टल यू थिंक कि वही दैट इज द ओनली ट्रेजेक्ट्री दैट यू शुड हैव रजत कुड हैव डन सो मच मोर यू कैन डू सो मच मोर दिस इज नॉट इनफ यू शुड गेट आउट ऑफ मई केंजी एंड से कि ये क्या बकवास कर रहा है दारू पी के इसको चढ़ गई है एंड बट यू you नो know, दैट्स आई थिंक वॉट ही वॉज ट्राइंग टू से इज नॉट ट्राइंग टू बी डिसरिस्पेक्टफुल टू एनी बडी बट ही वॉज रियली पुशिंग ऑन पोटेंशियल अभी एक एडम ग्रांट की बुक आई है हिडन पोटेंशियल तो आई न्यू ही वॉज राइटिंग दिस एंड आई वॉज वेटिंग फॉर द बुक टू कम बिकॉज आई एम सच अ बिग बिलीवर इन पोटेंशियल सो आई एम रीडिंग दैट बुक वेरी केयरफुली बिकॉज फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम समबडी हैज रियली रिटर्न अबाउट पोटेंशियल बिकॉज लोग हमेशा मैं जब भी पोटेंशियल की बात करता हूँ तो लोग कहते हैं अरे हाउ डू असेस पोटेंशियल इक्वली मैं बोलता हूँ यार It's easy to assess potential. Yeah, you look for people who are really driven, who have an interest, who are curious, who are whatever. अब हम लोग हरप्पा में बैठे हुए हैं हमारी CEO हैं Shreyasi Singh. वो हमारे साथ articles लिखती थी हमारे एक magazine में जब nine dot nine हमने शुरू किया था उसके बाद she took time off. She wrote a book on entrepreneurship called Wealth Walas. Then she worked with me at Vedika. Now lot of people wonder. Why did I choose her as a co-founder in yeah. Harappa and made her CEO and say that you go ahead and actually I already let her yeah. run the company. It was really because I saw the potential. Was I sure that it would be a success or that she would be successful? No, of course not. You never know. Yeah. You don't even know about yourself. But the idea that you can actually see that hey, somebody is capable of much more. then they themselves think can think of is something that people have done with me but this is one of the biggest lessons i have learned is that what you can't recognize in yourself other people recognize in you and you have to trust them sometimes i'm sure nancy did not really know what she was capable of so the encouragement the the that's when i think people are truly visionary people associate visionary with oh big business idea he saw the future you know theek oh, hai that's great but i for me being visionary is really about seeing the satis you know seeing the future potential of somebody and then seeing the them achieve that and exceed that in fact you you can also never fully estimate the full potential all you can do is give person a chance a, a, a leg up a, take, a take a bet That's take a it. take a bet on people yes, yes, i think yes. i think people who take bet on people are are disappointed because i have seen people close to me like they they trust everybody around them endlessly and they fall sometimes short but over a large scheme of things what they have become is because they took bet on so many people Absolutely. right they wouldn't have reached there right yeah. if i if somebody goes tell them hey you trusted this person and uh, he uh, is a is a sham or this or that but that's their nature they, that they keep on taking on bet on people right and you can't change well see that now you are an investor yes. it's the same thing yeah. you are betting on human equity yes. you are a human venture capital yes. firm right instead of betting on financial capital or financial equity you are betting on human equity and some of those startups will fail so uh, i heard this uh, just recently where somebody said that uh, you know it's like everyone is a startup every person you are betting on is a startup and it's likely that that startup will fail but over time 
if you are making the investments with the right principles, the guardrails, the assessments, and apply, applying your best possible judgment and getting better and better at it, uh, then the success really multiplies. I, I can tell you from my own experience and uh, that two of our 50 companies failed recently, right? Okay. And I was so happy that, you know, though that hurts, but I was so happy that they failed because they failed because of the right reasons, yeah. right? I'm unhappy with founders in portfolio that they sell the company at so much less potential. Let's say, for example, a company at 2.5 million annual revenue selling at 11 million. So, man, what what have you done? <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. So I would have completely okay if you had tried for bigger or failed, but sure. at least in the journey, like I think people who do startups, people who are entrepreneurs, people they really do it because they believe in some version of their potential. Yes. That this is this is where what could become. Absolutely. Not just the future of a problem, but this is where they believe that. Yes. Hey, I envision that this can be done, and I can play a role in that. And thereby unlock my uh, potential yes. right? and take a bet on themselves. Yes. Yes. Often people are able to do that, but often you need somebody else to Agreed. throw you a line to say, Ki boss, you can actually climb this mountain also. Or yes. who with the rope to pull you up. Right. And that's the role you can play in other people's lives. Uh, again, it sounds like you're playing God. It's not that. Just trying to give people a chance. I think that's how society progresses. And right, that's how nations are built. Absolutely. And you see, that is what I also keep telling people. Here you don't need to teach people. You don't need to educate people. People will educate themselves. All of us have a... I mean, that's our thousands of years of evolution. हमारे मैं इतना स्पिरिचुअल नहीं हूँ और इतना मुझे ज्ञान नहीं है लेकिन मैं थोड़ा सा जो पढ़ता हूँ उसमें हमारे उपनिषद्स में और वेदांता में कहा गया है कि हम we are at the end of the day the most superior of all beings तो वो ड्राइव वो क्यूरियोसिटी वो एस्पिरेशन वो डिजायर टू प्रोग्रेस टू इम्प्रूव वो ऑलरेडी हम में है वो बना हुआ है इनफैक्ट दैट इज व्हाट द होल इंडियन फिलोसफी इज बेस्ड ऑन तो उसको आपको केवल चैनल करना है उसको आपको केवल लोगों को चांस देना है उसको लोगों को सपोर्ट करना है एंड जब लोगों को सपोर्ट वो मिल जाता है सो देन यू सी मैजिक है मैथलॉजी वेन हनुमान वॉज ट्राइंग टू फाइंड आउट समी who could go to lanka because there was no road no, there jamavant yeah, yeah. was going to take a bet yeah, yeah. that you can do it you have yeah, the potential yeah yeah it's the same thing somebody took a bet ki bhaiya tum udke pahunch jaoge yeah. so i do think that uh, this this idea of human potential uh, is really the crux of the hope and optimism that uh, underlies all the gloom and doom around us <laughs> So my last thing to you is, if you could tell a couple of stories, right? Because nobody knows. And this was the first time you were doing completely zero to one. The, the, in the founding years of ISB, what were the purest struggles that you faced that, that yeah, ye to solve ho gai nahi. Because nothing like that had been done before. The first struggle was that, see, I was very clear ki, and Rajat of course was also very clear ki, हाई क्वालिटी वर्ल्ड क्लास इंस्टीट्यूशन बनानी है ना ये वर्ल्ड क्लास वर्ल्ड वर्ड जो है बहुत क्लीशेड हैकनीड सा है लेकिन उस समय इतनी यूज में नहीं था तो वर्ल्ड क्लास इंस्टीट्यूशन कैसे बनाओ और वो भी डे वन से ये एक बहुत ही टफ चैलेंज था और जिस तरह से भी हम उसको देखते थे वो सॉल्वेबल नहीं लगता था क्योंकि सारे एनालिसिस करने के बाद वी हैड रीच द कंक्लूजन दैट द की प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व इज फैकल्टी वर्ल्ड क्लास फैकल्टी नए इंस्टीट्यूशन में कैसे आएगा नहीं आएगा 
तो वो जो हमने विजिटिंग फैकल्टी मॉडल बना के उसको सॉल्व किया वो आज तक मेरे साथ चल रहा है और अभी तक वर्क कर रहा है तो आई थिंक दैट वॉज वन पॉइंट दैट वॉज दिगेस्ट स्ट्रगल दैट यू फेस्ड इन दर्नी ऑफ आई एस बी इन सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम बट अदर स्ट्रगल वर ऑल्सो दैट वन बिग स्ट्रगल वॉज रेगुलेशन ए आई सी टी के पास जाके अप्रूवल लेना और फिर उन्होंने पैसे मांगे और फिर उन्होंने कहा कि नहीं हम नहीं कर सकते और फिर बहुत डिस्पाइट ट्राइंग मैनी एवेन्यूज लोगों ने मुझे हमें हेल्प करने से रिफ्यूज कर दिया जो कि बहुत बुरा लगा बहुत धक्का लगा रियली बुरा लगा आई फील आई रिमेम्बर फीलिंग सैड बिकॉज ए आई सी टी में उस समय कुछ ऐसे लोग थे जिनको मैं एक तो आई आई टी चेन्नई के फॉर्मर डायरेक्टर थे एक प्रोफेसर धरनी सिन्हा थे जो बिहार के थे फ्रॉम आई आई एम के थे और एसकी के चेयरमैन थे एसकी इज दी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव स्टाफ कॉलेज ऑफ इंडिया वो एम्बेसडर भी रह चुके थे नेपाल के उनके यहाँ घर में ही वुड ऑलवेज कॉल मी और वो मुझे बिहारी खाना और तली हुई रोही रोहू मछली और ये सब खिलाते थे बट ही उससे कि मैं नहीं हेल्प कर सकता और रादर मैं कोशिश भी नहीं करूंगा मुझे लगता था कि यार हाउ कैन दिस बी सो डिफिकल्ट तो रेगुलेशन वाला जो इशू था वो बहुत हर्ट करता है आज के दिन में भी हर्ट करता है बिकॉज जब हमने इंस्टीट्यूशन ऑफ एमिनेंस के लिए अप्लाई की और हमें नहीं मिला आई को तो एटलीस्ट इनफॉर्मल फीडबैक हमें यही मिला कि भाई आप लोग अक्रेडिटेड नहीं थे और आप 20 साल से एक तरह से अनअक्रेडिटेड इलीगल इंस्टीट्यूशन चला रहे हो तो हम आपको कैसे इलीगल कर दें तो ये एक स्ट्रगल है जो हर्ट करता है कि आज के दिन में भी हम उसको एम नहीं कह सकते आज के दिन में नेशनल एजुकेशन पॉलिसी में वी आर अलाउड टू गिव वन ईयर मास्टर्स डिग्रीज लेकिन आई डोंट थिंक आई को वो हक होगा तो बुरा तो लगता है और वो सबसे बड़ा स्ट्रगल चैलेंज रहा है कई और से चैलेंजेस आई हैं जैसे कि आ, सत्यम का जो स्कैंडल हुआ उसमें हमारे डीन आ, सत्यम की ऑडिट कमेटी के चेयरमैन थे अब उसके वजह से उनको रिजाइन करना पड़ा रजत गुप्ता का जो इंसिडेंट था वो एक बड़ा चैलेंज था नाइनटीन uh, uh, 2001 में जब हमने शुरुआत की थी तो दो बड़ी चैलेंजेस आई थी एक तो कि हमारे पास पैसे हमारे ख़त्म हो गए बिकॉज वो 1999 और 2000 में जो स्टॉक मार्केट क्रैश हुआ और आईटी इंडस्ट्री क्रैश हुई तो द फंडिंग दैट वी वर ड्यू लॉट ऑफ पीपल कुड नॉट एक्चुअली गिव अस द मनी नो बडी वेंट बैक ऑन द कमिटमेंट but they could not give us the money they said infinite delay is there till thing recover to hame loan lena pada and but who could take the loan right because nobody is a single owner of isb nahi to isb was a section 8 company yeah to section 8 company ko loan diya logon ne aur good thing was ki ye sab badi purani lessons thi aur board members ne bhi help ki ki humne land ko own kiya hua tha to we could मॉडगेज एट और उस पर कंडीशन नहीं थी वो गोइंग बैक टू वट मिस्टर नायडू हैड डन फॉर अस सो वी वर एबल टू मॉडगेज द लैंड गेट द लोन एंड गुड न्यूज इज की वो सब जैसे आप बता रहे थे कभी आदमी फेल नहीं होता है तो वी वर एबल टू गेट द लोन ओवर टाइम पे बैक द लोन दैट वॉज अनदर मोमेंट उस मुझे याद है कि एक महीना ऐसा था कि मेरे पास तनख्वाह देने के लिए पैसे नहीं थे तो मुझे बोरो करना पड़ा था किसी से one of our founders actually lent me money to meet payroll uh us pehle saal mein 911 bhi ho gaya jiski wajah se hamare jo pehle batch ke students the wo bade disappointed ho gaye kyunki hamari placements achhi nahi hui jitni honi chahiye thi compared to jo aspiration thi aur jo hum kar sakte the actually jo hamare paas commitments thi because you had termed the world class ha तो अब जैसे मिकिनजी ने तीन लोगों को हायर किया लेकिन मेरे हिसाब से मिकिनजी कुड हैव हायर टेन पीपल और लीमन ब्रदर्स ने हायर नहीं किया या शायद एक किया और गोल्डमैन सैक्स ने हायर सो अ लॉट ऑफ द इन्वेस्टमेंट बैंक्स कंसल्टिंग फर्म्स हैड कमिटेड द टॉप फर्म्स हैड कमिटेड लेकिन उस जैसे अभी चल रहा है एकदम बिल्कुल हायरिंग फ्रीज हो गई थी और अब तो 
ये अप्स एंड डाउन प्लेसमेंट्स में होती हैं तो हम फेस कर लेते हैं लेकिन उस समय पहले ही साल में इतना ज़्यादा इतना ज़्यादा झटका लगेगा ये हमने कभी सोचा ही नहीं था तो ये सब चैलेंजेस थी बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस थी एक तो बड़ी चैलेंज ये थी कि हमने दो तीन फैकल्टी रिक्रूट की थी जो परमानेंट फैकल्टी रिक्रूट की थी परमानेंट फैकल्टी के नाम से जो चूंकि सुमंत्र घोषाल और दीपक जैन आने वाले थे दे हैड एक्चुअली रिक्रूटेड दीज पीपल तो आई न्यू देम बट दे ऑल्सो डिड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट कि मैं उनका डीन बन जाऊंगा सो दे वर अ बिट रिजेंटफुल कि भाई ये बिकिंजी पार्टनर आ गया ठीक है वो तो हमसे बट यू आर फोर्टी ईयर ओल्ड राइट आई वॉज थर्टी सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड हाँ जब मैंने अपॉइंट हुआ था तो थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सेवन थर्टी सेवन ईयर ओल्ड हाउ कैन ही बिकम अ डीन हाँ नहीं और वो लोग मुझसे सीनियर थे मतलब वो आई आई टी आई एम के पढ़े हुए थे और मुझसे सीनियर थे एक्चुअली तो इंडिया में तो आप जानते हैं देर वॉज अ सेंस कि भाई ये तो बच्चा है यह मेरी बॉस हमारा बॉस बन गया और दूसरा ये भी था कि एक चीज जो मैंने किया जो मैंने हमेशा मेनटेन किया कि मैं आई वेंट ऑल आउट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स टू हेल्प दैम टू प्लेस दैम तो वो सब वो बहुत रिजेंट करते थे क्योंकि इंडिया में और यही सब चीज़ें हैं हमारे यहाँ के हम स्टूडेंट्स को स्टूडेंट्स की तरह ट्रीट नहीं करते हम उनको एक कमोडिटी जैसा ट्रीट करते हैं लाइक वी आर डूइंग दैम अ फेवर और अपने को बहुत फैकल्टी को बहुत बड़ा मानते हैं सब जगह नहीं लेकिन कई जगहों में तो ये सब था कि यार प्रमथ यू आर स्पॉइलिंग दिस स्टूडेंट्स इतना कुछ करने की क्या जरूरत है और वाई इज सो मच फोकस ऑन फूड एंड एयर कंडीशनिंग एंड मेंटेनिंग द अम्बियंस एंड एंड ऐसा नहीं था कि हम एजुकेशन पे फोकस नहीं थे नेचुरली एजुकेशन पे भी फोकस्ड थे या बाहर से जो फैकल्टी आ रहे हैं उनको हम इतना पैसे क्यों दे रहे हैं और अपने फैकल्टी को हम नहीं देते हैं और अब तुम इतना पैसा क्यों खर्च अपना इतना टाइम प्लेसमेंट में क्यों लगा रहे हो ये इंस्टीट्यूशन का काम नहीं है लोगों को प्लेस करना हम तो अपनी इंस्टीट्यूशन में कभी जॉब्स के लिए बॉर्डर नहीं करते थे डीन क्यों कर रहा है प्लेसमेंट कमेटी है वो अपना करेगा तो आई यूज टू फाइट दीज थिंग्स एंड तो मैं थोड़ा सा अनपॉपुलर भी हो गया था तो उनके साथ बहुत रिलेशनशिप्स अच्छी नहीं थी और फिर वो लोग सब छोड़ के चले गए तो मैं तो अंदर से मुझे विश्वास था कि वो अच्छी चीज है कि वो छोड़ के चले गए बिकॉज दे वुड नॉट हैव बीन एबल टू क्रिएट द राइट कल्चर लेकिन बाकियों से मुझे काफी बैकलैश uh, सहना पड़ा उस उन दिनों की अरे ये फैकल्टी टॉप फैकल्टी छोड़ के जा रही है इसका लॉन्ग टर्म रिपरकशन होगा ये होगा होगा तो वो सब चीजें थी और वो चलती रहेंगी ये चैलेंजेस बट दे वर चैलेंजेस वेरी चैलेंज सीरियस चैलेंजेस यू हैड बीन मैकेजी ओनली फॉर सेवन ईयर आप सात साल आप यू एट एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी नाइन हाँ सात साल थे पार्टनर बन गए थे और हाँ एक साल पार्टनर बन के थे उसके बाद सात साल बट लोगों ने कहा होगा कि यार बिल्ली और करियर इन मैकेजी हाँ बहुत बहुत नो बडी वॉन्टेड आई मीन मेरे मिकिनजी के फ्रेंड्स तो बहुत ही क्लियर थे कि तुम छोड़ के मत जाओ क्योंकि मिकिनजी का सिस्टम यह है ना कि वो एक तरह से हम लोग उस समय कुछ ही लोग थे और कुछ ही पार्टनर्स थे तो पार्टनर्स आर लाइक को फाउंडर्स तो सडनली अगर एक को फाउंडर जो जनरेट करता है रेवेन्यूज और रिलेशनशिप्स ओन करता है वो कहे कि मैं जा रहा हूँ तो उतनी रेवेन्यूज चली जाएंगी हाँ। और डर एटलीस्ट ये होता है कि हाँ। उसकी वजह से रिलेशनशिप्स चली जाएंगी वो किसी और कंपटीटर हाँ। के पास क्लाइंट चले जाएंगे तो वो एक बात तो थी ही जो मेरे पार्टनर्स मुझसे नाराज थे मेरे जो अच्छे दोस्त थे वो ये कह रहे थे कि देखो तुम यू आर टू नाइस अगाए तुम रजत को ना नहीं बोल पा रहे हो तो इसलिए तुम छोड़ के जा रहे हो जो बात ठीक नहीं थी असल में हुआ क्या था आई बिकम सो इन्वेस्टेड इन द इंस्टीट्यूशन की आई न्यू कि अगर मैं नहीं जाता तो कौन जाता होगा नहीं जाता कोई तो लास्ट ऑप्शन आई वॉज फीलिंग बैड की एक सौ अट्ठाईस बच्चों ने अपनी नौकरी छोड़ के दे आर गोइंग देर और जो जो लोगों ने उनको रिक्रूट किया वो कह रहे कि मैं भी हम नहीं रहेंगे यहाँ पे और कोई भी उनको मालूम नहीं कि कौन रहेगा तो मुझे याद है यहाँ पे अंसल प्लाजा में आ, बाहर क्योंकि इतनी आसानी से लोगों से मिलने की जगह नहीं मिल रही थी तो बाहर चिलचिलाती धूप में खड़े होकर जो पहले बैच के लोगों से आई मेटअप विद देम एंड दे वर वेरी 
मतलब दे वर शॉर्ट ऑफ एंग्री दे वर लाइक वेरी कि यार तुम लोग कर क्या रहे हो आई हैव लेफ्ट माई आई टी सी जॉब आई हैव लेफ्ट माई इन्फोसिस जॉब एंड एंड यू डोंट हैव अ डीन एंड द पीपल हु केम एंड टोल्ड अस दैट ओ विल बी देर टू रिसीव यू ऑन कैंपस एंड कम टू कैंपस बिकॉज वील टीच यू आर सेंग दैट दे आर नॉट गोन बी देर एंड नाउ यू डोंट इवन हैव अ डीन सो हुज गोन बी द डीन एंड आई कुंट टेल दैम कि आई बी द डीन बिकॉज आई सो यू नो दोज वर टफ टाइम uh but i think focusing on the students making sure that they that i maine har ek ke sath baith ke unki resume banayi thi pehle saal mein uh or but going back to your question to mckinsey se log nahi jana jaane dena chahte the uh meri wife uh, uh favor mein nahi thi uh, she, wo delhi ki hai All our family was in Delhi. एक साल छोड़ के फिर वापस I was also very clear. उस समय my thinking had not evolved. Actually, if you think about it, I should never have come back. I should have just stayed on. Uh, but वो वो करेज नहीं था वो मिडिल क्लास जो सुमंत्रा ने बोला था कि अरे मिकिनजी कैसे छोड़ दें और डीन बन जाए डीन मतलब मुझे एकेडेमिक तो कभी बनना ही नहीं था मैंने एकेडेमिक छोड़ा हुआ था तो वो सब अपने कॉबवेब्स होते हैं इन योर हेड तो शी वॉज नॉट इन फेवर और लेकिन दो तीन क्लाइंट्स से जब मैंने बात की तो उन्होंने कहा कि क्या प्रॉब्लम है यार तुम लोग मिकिनजी वाले अपने को बहुत समझते हो कि जैसे कुछ गॉड्स हो तुम लोग की हमारी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व है कोई और कर लेगा यार तुम जाओ करो जो करना है तुम्हें सो दैट वाज लिबरेटिंग एंड देन फाइनली लाइक आई हैव सेड अर्लियर ऑल्सो डॉन जेकब्स वॉज द डीन ऑफ कैलॉग उन्होंने कहा कि यार तुम इसके बारे में सोच क्यों रहे हो हैव यू एवर थाट अबाउट इट हाउ मेनी पीपल इन द वर्ल्ड get a chance to say that they were there at the birth of an institution and that this he of course said ki dekho i am telling you this will be successful yeah. so you will get a big hand to play in making it successful because right now if given the situation this this could flounder yeah so you will have a chance to play in its success this will always remain your legacy and you are forgetting that you have been doing this for the last 6 7 years so it's not that somebody just picked you off the street and said dean ban jao this has been your baby so think about it that way which i was thinking about actually that part i was thinking about but i never thought about legacy or future or when in, when in a crisis you don't think about legacy or future right yeah no and in fact, survival I, is that question yeah kai baar log mujhe legacy ki baat karte hain in fact main bhi नैन्सी से बोल रहा था कि हमारी एक वेमेंस लीडरशिप प्रोग्राम है उसमें तुम ज्वाइन करो तो उसमें भी हम लेगेसी की बात करते हैं तो मेरे लोगों ने उसको प्रोग्राम में करिकुलम बना दिया और मैं लेगेसी की बात करता हूँ लेकिन कई बार लोग सोचते हैं कि यार लेगेसी कौन सोचता है तो वो सब मैंने सोचा नहीं था बट आई थिंक दिस थिंकिंग दैट ये अपॉर्चुनिटी अनप्रेसिडेंटेड है और कितने लोगों को मिलेगा और यही चीज हम जब जब लोगों से पैसे लेने जाते थे तो यही बोलते थे वेन वी आर आस्किंग फॉर डोनेशन और वेन वी आर आस्किंग इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट टू ज्वाइन आ बोर्ड दैट इज एग्जैक्टली द टैक वी यूज टू यूज बट आई वॉज नॉट इवन थिंकिंग अबाउट इट फॉर माई सेल्फ दैट इवन फॉर मी इफ वी आर टेलिंग समबडी एल्स दैट यू गिव अस योर हार्ड अर्न करोर्स बिकॉज दिस इज अ चांस फॉर यू टू बिल्ड अ हार्वर्ड और अ स्टैंडफर्ड आई नेवर थॉट दैट ओ दिस इज अ चांस फॉर मी टू बी एसोसिएटेड विद बिल्डिंग एंड आई टेल अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल दैट actually if you look at my journey and how people remember me i was dean only for one year yeah of these almost 25 years yeah uh and so i get associated with that but rightfully the journey has been a 25 year journey i'm still associated just today's monday tuesday on sunday i was with the dean in hyderabad yeah. having a conversation about isp so it has always remained part of my life it will always be part of my life and that one year just gave it a stamp uh, if i had always been behind the scenes i may not have been known uh, for who i am and how many people can say they in their life that they built an institution that is of course also uh, a, a very it can important. only be thought in hindsight us samay to us samay to nahi lagta us samay to nahi lagta in fact kahin kahin na kahin se or since you brought it up uh, I feel a little embarrassed 
एंड 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 हम्बल्ड बट दिस टाइटल ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशन बिल्डर कहीं से आ गया और लोग मुझे अब वो बुलाते हैं और कई बार लिखते हैं तो आई फील वेरी हम्बल्ड मुझे नहीं लगता कि मैं कोई इतना बड़ा इंस्टीट्यूशन बिल्डर हूँ लेकिन हाँ ऐसी बात तो है कि मैंने कई बार चीज़ों को शुरू से स्टार्ट किया है तो ओवर द लास्ट फ्यू ईयर्स मैंने कई बार अब मुझसे लोग आते हैं पूछते हैं कि उसकी कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स क्या होती हैं ऑफ बिल्डिंग एन इंस्टीट्यूशन तो आई स्टार्टेड पेनिंग सम थॉट्स डाउन मे बी आई विल राइट सम conversation from another podcast <laughs> <laughs> i don't think you'll want another podcast after this one ab mujhe pas kuch rehne kehne ko bacha nahi hai you've covered so much ground uh, but uh, yeah no thank you thank, thank you. you so much sir it's been such a privilege to have this conversation with you right i enjoyed no, every second you. of it no i enjoyed it too and thank you siddharth for reaching out uh, thank you to both you and nancy and it's wonderful to meet both of you uh, I would love to continue to stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>